We're with the A-Liner Owners Club and we're touring the A-Liner factory and where are we? We are in Kecksburg, PA, about 50 miles uh, southeast of Pittsburgh. All right, and you're the CEO. I am Brett Randall, I'm the CEO of A-Liner and we welcome the A-Liner's Owners Group today to uh, uh, spend some time with us and tour our facility. And at the uh, A-Liners Rally, which is up the road about 15 miles, we've got uh, 125 trailers and roughly 200 and some odd people that are coming in uh, four times, I think, 50 people at a time and uh, touring the plant. And they've opened it up for Sunday for us. And um, so it's really nice of them to do that. Um, tell me, Brett, what, what has the A-Liner company done in the last couple of years to make things better? Oh, well, it's a great question, Rick. Uh, <laughs> You know, we're meeting on a weekly basis uh, to review all of our products for improvement ideas and also for new design uh, ideas. Uh, we've come out of the COVID uh, uh, period and back into uh, a more normalized uh, uh, reality, uh, whereas during the COVID time, we'd uh, streamlined the product portfolio a little bit and we've brought back uh, some new models. Uh, we introduced the uh, Evolution series late last year. Uh, which has a uh, both a 12-foot box and a 15-foot box. Uh, the 15 has a really uh, unique shower uh, design to it, uh, which we're excited about. And uh, we brought back our Escape travel trailer as well. So uh, we've done some modernization uh, to the plant, all new lighting, a lot of new uh, automated equipment, uh, both for uh, productivity and efficiency, but also for uh, safety for our team members, uh, lifting handling equipment, uh, two more CNC machines. So we've uh, tried to continue an investment here, uh, both to uh, constantly improve the quality of the product, but also to make our team members' job uh, a lot easier. Yeah, yeah it's, it's um, impressive, some of the, the CNCs. The nice thing about the CNCs is they've got the outline of the cuts they make on, on, on the the table and stuff and you can see all the stuff they've been using it for so it's really cool and uh, it's nice to see you're putting money into the operation of production you're not just bleeding out and pushing trailers out the door you've made some impressive changes I myself as a youtuber have seen on other YouTubes where they make changes to old uh, a-liners um, like the little uh, there's a little Teflon strip or something on the side that keeps them from rubbing when they go together. They put some balls in there and I see that's now part of your production operation. So you're taking uh, suggestions from owners and users and using those in your, your production. You're, you're updating from complaints and, and, and requests and, and comments and I think that's, that's not very common in the industry anywhere. Well, we, we, we try to. Uh, uh you know, first of all, the uh, rallies like this give us a tremendous amount of input because, oh, yeah. you know, when you use the product, you find out the things that you could do to make the product better. Uh, and many of our management staff are campers, so we use the units and we spend time uh, out camping. So we're constantly getting feedback. We have a couple of company campers, so our team members will yeah. utilize those campers. And that's the best feedback that we ever get when people use the units. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's funny, I've done some some uh, interviews at other uh, RV manufacturers and nobody that's in management at like uh, Winnebago or uh, Forest River own an RV. <laughs> it's like they don't want to see them, they, they work with them all day so it's nice. You guys actually do have th ones that the people can use and, and uh, enjoy so you do get good feedback I'll bet from that. We get great feedback and uh, my family, our family, we love to camp. And so, uh, you know, my kids will give us ideas, things they like, things they don't like, and uh, uh, ideas for improvement. And that's really, I think, your, your, your best market research as far as what you want to do in, in the next generation of campers. Yeah, and you've done, um, you've done some changes. Um, you've got uh, the new Big Evolution has a shower inside it. Um, my opinion is that that's going to be a, a humidity issue if people don't really have a good idea on how to control that. Um, you've, you've taken out some of the stuff that people don't use, which is great because obviously on a little camper, storage is a big issue. And I think a lot of the stuff that I see that people complain about are things that they want to do or they can't do or they can do. But I think it's amazing, especially with the, the rally, 
I see people complaining about how this isn't working or this, that, that isn't working. But the truth is their camper is 10 or 12 years old and it's, you know, campers are rolling earthquakes. They, they're going down these miserable highway roads, shaking to death. And what, is there a lifespan do you think for these campers? Do you? Well, you know, I think like um, any product, it, it's how it's maintained and taken care of will determine how long it lasts. Uh, uh, you know, we, we've been excited, I've met just today, uh, two different uh, uh, couples that are on their third A-liner. So, yeah. and, and they like yeah. the fact that, that the resale value holds very well. Yes, it does. So they're able to upgrade. You know, the newer models that we've brought out with, you mentioned storage as being a big thing. Uh, sleeping capacity. Uh, we now have multiple units that can sleep four people. So uh, whether it's a family of four or grandma and grandpa that want to take a couple of their grandkids out, the new shower uh, version, uh, and the cool factor. You'll see with the Evolution series, it's a little bit more modern looking, off-roadish looking. Yeah. Uh, so we're seeing those types of, of things from the market, and we're, we're trying to offer products uh, uh, to fit it. I think I myself have convinced uh, at least two people, two, two groups of people, as they climb into their rooftop tent, that their life would be a little easier with one of these behind their Jeep or their Forerunner or whatever. Because <laughs> yeah. they putting up a rooftop tent in the rain really isn't any fun and it's it's going to be all moldy and gross when they get it out and these things are so fast to put up you stop at a campground and it's pouring rain you've got about 15 seconds before you're inside and out of the weather right and and we say you know typically it's uh, uh two hands 30 seconds and yeah. you can get them up with the dormers it may be another five or ten seconds but and taking them down yeah. Uh, which is so important because, uh, as any camper knows, it's it's never as fun when it's pouring down rain. And you've <laughs> got to knock everything down and get everything packed up, uh, and then obviously the the garageability quotient, you know, oh, of, of yeah. uh, the A-liner and and the folding camping trailer in general is 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 really popular for those folks who want to have it, or maybe live in an HOA where they can't keep it next to their house or in the driveway. They can put it in the garage uh, anytime they want to use it. They just grab it and go. Yeah, and I had mine when I first got it. I bought it from somebody who garaged it. It looked pristine. It's a 2008, I bought it in 2014. It was in perfect condition. I beat it up, I dragged it through a swamp. I, I actually uh, came out of uh, camping or came out of the woods with it and opened it up and water poured out of it because it, <laughs> It had not floated as well as I thought it would. So I lifted it up and, and it's survived all that. It's, it's rugged as it needs to be for me and I've done a lot of things to it. I've put uh, solar panels on it three times and I've got all these holes in the side because of that, but it still it stands up. It, it's a good unit in my opinion. Now, there are times, you've been here for how long? Uh, almost 10 years. You've been here for 10 years. Almost 10 years. Wow, time goes fast. It does go fast. Because there are times on the internet people say that um, from 2010 to 2012 they weren't very good. From 2008 to 2003 they had small frames. And I mean, there's a lot of, and of course, everything on the internet's true. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> yep. So, do you guys ever see the old ones come back in and see the things, the issues that they have? You don't do any repairs or any work here. You got to, I know uh, John Fall says that he's got a wonderful relationship with you guys and he shares all his information with you guys. You must use that in your production plans and designs and, and we future do. stuff. We, we do. I mean, I, I think, you know, you, you have two elements, right? You have, you have the design element, which is an ever-evolving standpoint yeah. in how you're going to design and design to manufacture a given product. And then you have as, as components and materials evolve and, and, and become better, new technologies that are added. Yeah. We look to incorporate them. It's a balance between making sure that it's, it's cost competitive to the consumer uh, but we want to get those amenities and, and design them in with better materials. You'll have better uh, yeah. uh, uh, elongation, duration of, of the product's life. Uh, and that's an every week uh, scenario here at A-Liner. Like I said, we're campers and, and uh, we work on these products uh, yeah. uh, every week. And your, your campers, you guys spec out and have a contractor make the frames. 
Um, and that's probably pretty stable. You're pretty sure they're going to be around for another five or ten years. Absolutely. We have, we have a good dedicated partnership with them. Uh, there are designs. Uh, they're all robotically welded, so we know they're perfect uh, yeah. every time. And, uh, uh, and all, all of our sourcing, we try to have secondary and tertiary sourcing to make sure uh, uh, that when supply chain issues arise, we can always get yeah. the components necessary to build the product. Because I noticed looking around, you've, you've got the new LG 6000 air conditioners going in. I assume that's because the old 5000s are no longer available <laughs> and, and your stoves have been upgraded from the old hang on the side stove, which I love. I wish I could get the, one of the new ones um, <laughs> for my other camper. And um, you, you're getting rid of the microwave. Is that because those are harder to get or just because you got feedback that people don't want them? So uh, two things that you brought up. Uh, obviously, we're, we're always looking at the appliances and, and, and there's two. We're looking at upgrading and what the best appliances for the campers that are available are and also battling supply chain challenges yeah. to make sure that we can get uh, so sometimes we will have to substitute or utilize different uh, appliance components based on supply chain. Yeah. As far as the microwaves go, and we've, we've done a lot of consumer research, and uh, what we found is that storage uh, overwhelmingly was the most important thing. And, and folks would say, yeah, I might want a microwave, but I'll go buy a microwave, and that way I have it, and I can set it up wherever I want, but I know that I have the maximum amount of storage in yeah. the unit. And we hear, we hear at the rallies that people say, you know, the, the microwave jiggles in the unit when it's going down the road and it comes in sideways or something and it's like uh, the a-liner organization says well just tack it down a little bit better <laughs> fix it you know but people are funny and in, in some of the things they say but i i think it's a great product um thank you i uh i'm going to keep mine up I, I got a new uh new bigger trailer for a little different kind of tra uh, camping me and the dog need a little more space, but um, while I'm using that one next year, I'm going to take the A-liner and rehab as much as I can of it. I got to put in new hinges and new springs and a few other things, but uh, it's over 15 years old and I beat the life out of it. Well, so. it sounds like it's held up overall pretty well. Rick. It's done pretty good. So, so all right. Well, thanks for the, Thank the time. Thank you, Rick. And, uh, and we, um, we, Appreciate all the A-Liner Owners Club visitors uh, and hope uh, the uh, camping experience here in southwestern PA has been a great weekend for everybody. And uh, we'll see you down the road camping. <laughs> all righty. We'll see you in the next video, folks. Bye-bye.